Hey guys, I'm Kai from Lucas Landon Royals. Hope you're doing well. And today we have our first egg cutting of 2020 season. And I got someone here to help me do it. Before we start, I gotta get the disclaimer out of the way. Guys, don't go out and get a bunch of snake eggs and let your small child hack away at them. This video is not intended for kids. I can't believe I had to say that. So guys, I will be showing you the egg cutting portion in just a little bit. And I did that with my son. It was his idea. He was excited about it just as I was. So I was really happy to have him alongside me. However, I do want to be upfront and let you know that the results don't look that great. There's just unfortunate things that happen in this hobby and sometimes they're just out of our control. But before we get into that, I want to show you some of the other things that's happening and we'll start with the snake room expansion. This season has been slow, but that actually works out for me because I've been extremely busy with other things in life. Where I'm standing right now is the expansion room and I haven't done anything with it after putting up this corrugated plastic wall and I just did that just so I can frame out this room to see if I can work in it and if it's enough space for me or not. Uh, a lot of the things that I'm doing right now, a lot of the DIY stuff is actually happening outside in the yard. And even though it's not snake related, I'm pretty excited about it. So I wanna show you what's going on. So basically I'm taking advantage of the weather and working outside right now. You know, I figure the basement, the temperature, the climate's always gonna be pretty consistent but you never know when you're working outside. So I wanted to take advantage of the weather and work on some things in the yard. And you can see what I'm doing here is I am building a retaining wall. Now the top course is not completed and I have left some blocks in here because I have some more tiebacks to install. So what are tiebacks? Well, they're these things that keep the wall from leaning forward. So I've been working on this yeah, on and off. The lines at Home Depot are extremely long and ridiculous, so it's taken me much longer than anticipated. So since I live on a slope, the lawn over there on the other side of the pool is much higher. And since we're gonna get that all concreted, I figured it'd be a good opportunity to bring that dirt to the low side and fill it in, which is why I have to build that retaining wall. I'm also possibly getting a pond. No, I'm definitely getting a pond. I don't care what my wife says. I'm installing one no matter what. Quick pause for today's comment and it comes from Rob at Royal Balls and he says, I'm waiting on two females. One is on day 34 since the post ovulation shed and one has about a month to go. I have noticed the bottom heavy look and the bulge where she carries eggs without actually having to lift her up. Fatter females, harder to tell, but where there is the bulge, I can also see a distinct spinal ridge where the eggs are pushing on the spine and making it stand out. I love these videos where observation is just as important as anything else we do. Well, thanks Rob. So that comment came on a video that I did where I held female ball pythons vertically to check their belly size in order to distinguish where they are within their breeding season. What Rob is referring to is the snake's ability to change their body shape to conform to their needs. So imagine their body being nice and round like this. A snake's body can change its shape. It could flatten out its belly to maximize contact to the surface that it's on. This allows them to efficiently absorb or release heat and this is important for digestion. But in the case of a breeding female, she needs to regulate her temperature in order to grow her follicles. Now, as her follicles grow, it puts even more pressure on her inside of her body, causing it to expand even more. And this is the bulge that Rob is referring to. The other thing that Rob refers to is that as those follicles grow even more and become eggs, it puts even more pressure on the inside of her body, causing her spine to protrude up so a healthy female during breeding may show a ridge running down her back and that's her spine protruding which could mean she's full of eggs so thanks Ralph, for sharing your knowledge and experiences and he does plenty of that on his youtube channel so i'm going to leave his information down in the description below hop over there and check him out and while you're there like and subscribe so just real quick on the pond it's going to go in this area right here as a rectangle it'll have a contemporary look and maybe a water feature so what does this have to do with the snake room well if the koi comes outside into the new pond, that leaves more space inside for, you know what, wine racks. <laughs> of course, I'm not talking about wine racks. I'm talking about these type of racks. Well, enough chatter. I'm going to now show you the video where my son and I cut open our first clutch of eggs in season 2020. All right, so here we go. 
Let's take a look at these eggs. And you can see that some of these have come out already. Yeah, only one. Only one, you're right, only one. And it came out of this egg right here. You can see it is empty. Nothing. Okay, nothing's in there. Uh, but this one, look, it's starting to come out. See how it made a little cut? Mm -hmm. I make some cuts how here. How did it do that? Well, it's got a little tiny tooth on the tip of its nose that's hard. So when it scratches the inside, it cuts it open. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is basically help the rest of them come out a little bit easier. So I'm going to take the first one. And you can see, like I said, he already started to cut the egg from the inside. And I'm just going to use the scissors and follow the same line that he already made. Just cut this open. Wow! Oh yeah. You're excited as I am. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a uh, gooey, right? Yucky. But it's the same stuff that's kind of in chicken eggs. Remember when you crack up with the chicken, the white part? Yeah. The clear part? Yeah. That's actually the part you like to eat. You don't like the yolk, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Check that out. It's a pretty snake, huh? Yeah. All right. So that's the way. We'll move on to number two over here. So you can see the way I cut it is I just snip it a little bit so we can make a little bit of a mark so we don't hurt the baby as we cut open the egg and you can see all the gooey stuff pouring out. What color do you think this one will be? Uh, same color. Same co wow, this one's even crazier pattern. Same color, but definitely a... What? It's leaking. <laughs> it's leaking. It's not leaking. Well, I guess it is leaking since, uh, you know, we cut it open. Careful your head, okay? Don't bump into the camera. You want to cut one open? No! You don't want to touch it? Nah. It's not for kids, right? Not for kids. Can you see it already? Yeah. You want to come out. That's right. Is that cool? Yeah. The colors. Huh? What colors do you see? Uh, yellow and black. Yellow and black. Now I do see a little bit of yolk. It looks like unabsorbed yolk right there in the middle. So hopefully in the next day or two, it'll absorb its yolk. And do you know what the yolk is? No. It's the yellow thing that's in the middle of an egg. Hmm. Yeah, it's the part you don't like. Yucky. <laughs> yeah, you don't like it. So moving on to the next egg. This one's a little bit bigger than the other ones. It's a potato. <laughs> it looks like a potato. And it's dripping. It's a dripping potato. Potato. Here we go. Now this one kind of have a cloudy look to it. So I'm not sure what that is. I'm not really sure what any of these are. I feel like it should be easy to identify, but with the extreme gene in the mix, I'm not really sure what to look for. So far they all look pretty bright. Uh, no normals yet. I hope I don't jinx, jinx myself by saying that. But it looks like they are all pretty bright with either pastel Yay. Or pastel yellow belly. Um, I mean, they have to be yellow bellies. But pastel is in the mix. Hopefully, extreme gene is in the mix as well. What I'm hoping to see is something that really pops out to me so that I know that it's going to be the uh, yellow belly pastel extreme gene. And so far, the, uh, the brightness on all of these have been pretty, pretty similar. So this one is another cloudy one. I'm not sure why some of these are cloudy. I hope the hashings are okay. This one doesn't look to be that great. It looks uh, slightly either deformed or it's just twisted up right now. So I'll have to take a look and I'll keep you updated on that. Next one. Hey. Ah, you keep saying hi to that one. That one came out super early, earlier than the rest of them. It came out, I actually saw it um, pip last night, and I was just waiting for a second one to pip. And by this morning, 
That guy right there already came out. What do these small one. ones eat? Small ones eat little tiny rodents, little tiny mice. The babies? Yeah, the babies. The small babies? Yup. The ones that don't have, that look like whales? Yeah, they look like whales. They don't have fur yet. All right, and the last one. Ah, uh, I hope this one is super bright. Let's take a look. What do you think? No. No? Yeah. You're uh You're probably right. Oh, the scissor got stuck. There we go. Can't get a hold of the edge. And yeah, you can see the head right there in the middle. You see it? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Hi. And this one has a really, really busy pattern as well. Try to get the camera to focus there. Cool, huh? And you can see a little bit of blood, but that's okay. All of these um, are still in the egg, so it's uh, expected to have a little bit of blood veins on the inside. That's kind of how they're how they're developing. They're being used for development, but nicking those veins do not harm the animal in any way. All right. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You want to help me on the next one? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, thanks for helping. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Unlike my son who took off, kids just have really, really short attention spans. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And in about a week, look out for an update video of this clutch. If you're new to this channel and you want to be informed of future videos, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share and I'll see you guys next time.